I'm Anil Kumar and in this video I'll take up three examples where related angles will be used to prove trigonometric identities. First one here is cos of minus x plus cos of pi minus x is equals to cos pi plus x plus cos x. So let's begin to understand how to write these in terms of related acute angle. The first one here is cos of minus x. So that is cos of minus x. We are in quadrant 4, right? Now it is always positive since we know the rule. All are positive sine, tan and cosine. And therefore cos of minus x can be related as cos x. You should remember cos is also an even function, right? Now let's look into cos pi minus x. Pi minus x means we are somewhere here, right? So let's say we are somewhere here. Now here cos is negative, right? So, so when we talk about cos of pi minus x, since it is negative, angles in acute angles are always positive, we have to take minus cos x, correct? So that becomes minus cos x. Let's look into the angles on the other side. The first one here is pi plus x. Pi plus x means you are in quadrant 3. So in quadrant 3, cos of pi plus x will be negative and therefore it is equal to negative cos x. Cos x is cos x, correct. So now what we will do is we'll write down the left hand side and the right hand side in terms of their related acute angles. So let's copy this first. We have cos of minus x plus cos of pi minus x. That should be equal to cos of pi plus x plus cos of x. Now cos of minus x is cos x right? plus cos of pi minus x is minus cos x. Correct? It is minus cos x. So on the left side, cos x plus minus cos x is cos x minus cos x, and that is 0. How about the right hand side? Cos x pi plus x is minus cos x. So where we get minus cos x and we have plus cos x, when you add them up, you again get 0. Since 0 is equal to 0, right? So, so these two zeros are equal. Therefore, we can say right hand side, I should write left here, okay, left hand side is equal to the right hand side, right? So both, both are equal to zero, right? So that is how using related acute angles, we can easily prove some identities. Here is the second example. So this time I have taken with pi by two, right? Plus and minus. So let's look into pi by two. So whenever you have pi by two things, then we're talking about complementary angles, right? Sine pi by two minus x means you are in quadrant one, right? That is your x. And if I want to write this into the acute angle terms, what do I get? I get sine pi by two minus x is equals to cos of x, correct? Now what is cot pi by two plus x? Let's look into that also. Pi by 2 plus x, that means we are in quadrant 2, right? Somewhere here, this is x. Now, in this quadrant, cot is negative, right? So cot is negative here. And therefore, cot pi by 2 plus x should be equal to negative value of, let's say this is x, tan x. So these are in terms of their correlated angles. So now let's prove the identity. We'll start with the left hand side here, which is sine pi by two minus x, cot pi by two plus x. Sine pi by two minus x, as we saw, is cos x. And cot is pi by two plus x is minus tan x. Now that is our left hand side. Now, tan x could be written as sine over cos. So let me write down cos x, negative sine outside, 
times sin x over cos x, correct? Now cos x and cos x cancels, what are we left with? We are left with minus sin x, which is the right hand side, is it okay? So that is how you can prove it. So I hope it's simple. Now let us take up the last identity, which is based on related acute angles. Now here we have cos 3 pi by 2 plus x plus sin pi plus x equals to 0. So let us see what is cos 3 pi by 2. 3 pi by 2 means this is 1 pi by 2, 2 pi by 2, 3 pi by 2. You are in quadrant 4, right? So you are somewhere here. Now in this quadrant, cos is positive, right? Cos is positive. So therefore, we could write cos 3 pi by 2 plus x as equal to what? Since cos is positive, we get a positive value. But whenever you are working with 3 pi by 2 or pi by 2, you get the complement, which is sine. So you get sine x, right? On the other hand, we have sine pi plus x. Now sine pi plus x means you are in quadrant 3. Now in this quadrant, sine is negative, right? Sine is negative. Since sine is negative, we'll have sine pi plus x as equals to negative sine x. So now let's write down the identity and what they are equivalent and prove it, correct? So what we have here is cos 3 pi by 2 plus x plus sine pi plus x. This is the left hand side. And now since we know cos 3 pi by 2 plus x is sine x, we can write this as sine x. Sine pi plus x is minus sine x, so we get minus sine x. And what do we get? We get 0 which is same as right hand side, right? So that is how you could prove it. So such identities where you have, uh, uh, let's say pi plus theta, pi, I should say plus or minus theta, or pi by two plus or minus theta, or three pi by two plus or minus theta, you could use related acute angles. So in all these cases, we could always use uh, related acute angles right and solve the questions as we have done in this video i hope you find it very practical and uh, interesting thanks for watching feel free to write down your comments if you like that'd be great all the best